The aerospace world witnessed a shift in the global balance of power on the 9th of December, 2025, when a sleek, pilotless aircraft took off from the heat-hazed tarmac of the Woomera Test Range in South Australia. This was not just another routine flight for the MQ-28 Ghost Bat. It was the moment Australia's sovereign defence industry truly came of age. In a landmark demonstration known as Trial Karela, the Ghost Bat successfully launched a live AIM-120, advanced medium-range air-to-air missile, intercepting and destroying a high-speed target drone. The precision of the strike, coordinated through a digital link with a Royal Australian Air Force E-7A Wedgetail and an F-A-18F Super Hornet, sent a clear message to the world's capitals. The era of crude uncrewed teaming is no longer a future concept. It is an operational reality, and it is being pioneered in Australia. This technical triumph was immediately followed by a massive strategic commitment from the Australian government, which announced an additional investment of 1 billion 400 million Australian dollars to transition the program from its developmental phase into a full-scale operational capability. For a nation that has historically relied on importing its primary air combat platforms from the United States or Europe, this represents the first time in over 50 years that a frontline combat aircraft has been designed and manufactured on Australian soil. The injection of funds brings the total government investment in the program to well over 2 billion Australian dollars, a figure that reflects a calculated bet on Australian ingenuity as the cornerstone of future national security. What makes this star of the Australian defence sector so compelling to the international community, and specifically to the United States, is its maturity. While the United States Air Force and United States Navy are currently wrestling with their own collaborative combat aircraft programs, massive undertakings intended to provide affordable mass to their fleets, the Ghost Bat is already there. It has flown hundreds of hours, deployed to operational bases like IRAF Tyndall, and now it has proven it can kill. This head start has led to an unprecedented level of interest from Washington. Two Australian-made ghost bats have already been shipped to the United States for intensive evaluation. And there is growing speculation that the United States Air Force may adopt the MQ-28 as the primary platform for its own first tranche of collaborative drones. The American interest is not merely a matter of curiosity. It is a necessity born of the changing nature of modern warfare. In the vast reaches of the Indo-Pacific, the cost of losing a crude fifth-generation fighter like the F-35A Lightning II is prohibitive, not just in terms of the 90 million US dollars price tag, but more importantly, in the loss of a highly trained pilot. The Ghost Bat offers a solution to what military planners call the tyranny of distance and the attrition gap. By acting as a loyal wingman, the MQ-28 can fly ahead of crewed aircraft to map out enemy radar, jam communications, or even engage hostile targets, allowing the human pilot to remain at a safe distance while commanding a swarm of intelligent, capable drones. Technically, the Ghost Bat is a marvel of modular design, a feature that has become a major selling point for the upcoming Block 2 and Block 3 variants funded by the recent budget boost. The aircraft features a unique 8.5-foot-long modular nose section that can be swapped out in the field in less than an hour. This allows a single airframe to be reconfigured for a variety of missions. One day, it might carry an advanced radar for maritime surveillance, the next an electronic warfare suite to blind enemy air defenses, 
and the day after, an internal weapons bay for precision strikes. The Block III prototype, currently under development, is expected to further refine this stealthy profile by housing all its weapons internally, ensuring it maintains a minimal radar cross-section while operating in highly contested environments. Supporting this hardware is an Australian-developed artificial intelligence brain that is designed to be intuitive rather than cumbersome. During the December 2025 live fire test, it was revealed that the human operator in the E7A Wedgetail only needed to issue four major command authorities to the Ghost Bat. Take off, conduct a combat air patrol, commit to an intercept, and fire. The AI handled the complex flight dynamics, targeting geometry and sensor fusion autonomously. This level of sophistication is exactly what the United States military is looking for as it seeks to integrate its own disparate systems into a unified battle network. By proving that an Australian AI can play nicely with American-made platforms like the Wedgetail and the Super Hornet, Boeing Australia has essentially created a plug-and-play solution for the entire Western Alliance. Beyond the strategic and technical metrics, there is a profound economic story that resonates deeply with the Australian public. For too long, large-scale defence spending has seen billions of Australian dollars flow offshore to prime contractors in the Northern Hemisphere. The Ghost Bat program flips this script. Over 70% of the recent 1,400,000,000 Australian dollars investment is slated to remain within Australia, supporting a supply chain of more than 200 local companies. This is not just about building a plane, it is about building a sustainable high-tech ecosystem. The program already supports over 440 highly skilled jobs ranging from carbon fiber composite specialists to software engineers, and this number is expected to grow significantly as production ramps up. The heart of this industrial renaissance is the new 90,000 square meter production facility currently under construction at Wellcamp near Toowoomba in Queensland. This site is significant for being Boeing's first final assembly facility outside of North America. It represents a long-term commitment to Australian manufacturing and a shift away from the traditional model of assembly under license. When the Wellcamp facility becomes fully operational in 2026, it will be capable of churning out ghost bats not just for the Royal Australian Air Force, but for a global market. If the United States or other regional allies like Japan or the United Kingdom decide to purchase the MQ-28, they will be buying a product that is designed in Brisbane, built in Toowoomba. However, the path forward is not without its hurdles, and a truly objective analysis must acknowledge the challenges of scaling such a revolutionary program. The global demand for collaborative combat aircraft is projected to be in the thousands, and Australia must prove it can move from producing hand-built prototypes to a high-rate production line without compromising the quality or the cutting-edge AI that makes the Ghost Bat special. Furthermore, as the platform becomes more lethal and autonomous, the ethical and legal frameworks governing its use will be under intense scrutiny. Australia is currently leading the conversation on the responsible use of AI in combat, but the pressure to maintain this lead while the United States and China accelerate their own programs will be immense. Ultimately, the MQ-28 Ghost Bat has become the North Star for Australia's strategic ambitions in the 2020s. It represents a rare alignment of political will, industrial capability, and military necessity. The fact that the world's preeminent military power is looking to a medium-sized power in the South Pacific 
for its next-generation air combat technology is a testament to the quality of the work being done in Melbourne and Brisbane. As the Block II aircraft begin to roll off the production line in early 2026, the Ghost Bat is no longer just a source of national pride, it is a critical tool of deterrence that ensures the Royal Australian Air Force can punch well above its weight in an increasingly uncertain world. The investment of billions of Australian dollars is a steep price, but for a nation seeking to secure its own skies with its own technology, it is an investment that many believe is finally paying off 